And we're back with North of the Broad with the Director of Libraries for Beaufort County, all locations, Amanda Brewer Dickman. So nice to meet you. You as well. Yes. So when I said all locations, talk about where, where you are located. Beaufort County Library has five geographically distanced uh, library locations. We have one in downtown Beaufort, mm -hmm. one on St. Helena, mm -hmm. one out in Lubico in the Gardens Corner area, and then also two south abroad, one in Bluffton near the old historic district and one on Hilton Head Island. Right. In addition to those physical locations, we're blessed with two mobile libraries. We call them Bookmobile North, Bookmobile South, mm -hmm. as each serves either northern Beaufort spots or southern Beaufort spots. Amida, we were talking earlier that um, a library is more than just a place to go get a book. Right, talk about that. You know, libraries are in our community a very vibrant, alive place. Libraries have been in existence and have changed with the times. That's one of our trademarks. Mm -hmm. And so the public library of today is a, is a place to meet people. It's mm -hmm. a community center. We host uh, various community meetings. Uh, right. We also have training and workshops. We also have books for all <laughs> ages and a 24 hour a day, seven day a week digital library as well for people who want to uh, get their items digitally through a tablet or an e-reader or through a computer. Because of technology and the changes with electronics, are people going to libraries less than they used to years ago? That's a great question. <laughs> um, COVID certainly put a pause mm -hmm. uh, on, on activity in our society in general, mm -hmm. but I'm proud to announce that here in Beaufort County, our current um, door counts and our usage mirrors that of pre-COVID, so 2019, 2018 data. So we're seeing that libraries remain relevant um, to residents here in Beaufort County. And so for those like me that went to the old card catalog and now you have to go into the computer, you have folks there that can help you through. Absolutely. So don't be intimidated to go in the library if you're looking for a specific book and of course ask all of the folks that work there. That's right, we're all readers, we're all TV watchers, movie watchers, so it's, it's important for us to know what we have and where it is located so that if you don't know what you're looking for, we might can suggest something for you. Okay, so you've now prompted a really, I think, important question. So in a library, how is it divided up? You, I know, so I'm just thinking fiction, nonfiction, but then there are periodicals and then you have movies, and so talk to me about kind of the footprint. Sure, uh, all of our libraries have, um, pretty much segmented into a children's specific area okay. or young adult specific area and then adult specific area. Okay. And that's where we have our fiction, popular, everything from James Patterson, Daniel Steele, and everybody in between, especially those local authors we really love yes. to promote. Yes. And then we have nonfiction and public libraries and still continue to use the Dewey Decimal System of numbers okay. um, to find those nonfiction items. But that's really designed so that if you're looking for a travel book to, uh, to Greece, that you might find something else related to that trip mm -hmm. right right beside itself on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So we have areas specifically targeted to um, provide children's interest, adult interest, teen interest, and then just general interest as well. Very good. Now, you were saying that the theme for the summer, for summer reading, is Oceans of Possibilities? That's correct. And <laughs> even though it's a national theme, it couldn't be better tailor fit Perfect. for Beaufort County. And so we've, our branches have really capitalized on that. At the Hilton Head Library, we had a local balloon artist come in and do a coral reef out of um, balloons. At our Bluffton Library, in the newly renovated portion, Mm -hmm. At the children's area, you'll, you'll see uh, a mural on the new windows there that a local wow. artist did. We also have various other um, thematic elements throughout our, our branches, and, it, and it's really in, encouraging to see so many people excited, excited about reading this summer. Library card, does it cost money? My favorite question. <laughs> it is absolutely positively free. free to get Three. a library card. You only have to be four years old to get your first oh, card. Well, that's so, so cute. <laughs> All right, anything else you wanna share with our viewers about the library system and how important it is, how, as you said, it really can be the center of the communities, part of the fabric of the, our communities. Yeah, I would really just encourage people to let us know how we can serve you better. Uh, we currently have a survey on our website that people can complete until uh, Friday, January, uh, July 22nd, um, but, we're continually open to hearing how we can continue to meet the information needs of residents. Uh, you're doing a great job, so check, A plus. 
Uh, Amanda Brewer Dickman, uh, the director of libraries right here in Beaufort County. Thanks for being with us on the show. Thank Good you for having me. Yeah.